a precious commodity in inner city Melbourne. Sprawling gardens are few and far between, leaving many children without the knowledge and health benefits of growing their own food. I like the way how they make the plants make the plants, but then the plants that make the plants make the plants, and then it keeps on going. Healthy compost, healthy dirt, healthy plants, healthy animals and healthy humans. With the help of the Bendigo Bank's Clifton Hill North Fitzroy Community Branch, the Organic School Gardens program has been able to spread the word where it's needed most. Many of them don't have the opportunities to have large gardens or even any garden at all, so it's really important that the children are involved in planting and learning about the you know, sustainability, biodiversity and the importance of healthy eating. Personally it makes me feel very proud to be involved with an organisation that actually stands for something uh, different. Mary Creek Primary, Fitzroy Community and Sophia Mundy Steiner are the three schools just a stone's throw from the CBD who have received gardening grants from the team at the local community bank branch. They're in conjunction with the organic school program known as the Local Schools Local Heroes program. We got three and a half thousand dollars and I've spent it all. <laughs> in a fit basically. Um, so we've bought bed, seeds, compost bin, worms, tools. Um, I think we've probably got maybe $200 left. <laughs> well the uptake's been tremendous. We've gone to 1300 schools uh, nationwide and um, I think that says it all. The three schools have received similar amounts of money and the grants have been modest in monetary terms but they've made a world of difference to these city kids. What I like is that it actually doesn't just benefit us, it also benefits plants and animals. They've really been enjoying doing this as well, so being out in the open um, really makes a difference to them. It's really great fun. All three schools have invested their grant in gardening. At the Mary Creek Primary School, plans are underway for a year-round productive vegetable garden which all students can be involved in. Oh, I've got a brilliant idea. That could be like, like, that could be like a mini garden inside yeah. there. And a lot of them live in flats or smaller, smaller blocks where there, there just really simply isn't room. And, um, and, or that maybe their parents don't have the knowledge either. And, and so if we can expose them to this at such a young age, maybe they can, um, it'll, it'll influence the way that they then approach gardening and food and the way that they eat. I got this part stuck in my mouth. At Fitzroy Community, it's a different story. These kids are hopeful the food they grow will teach them the lessons of a lifetime. That's called seed saver. That's pretty good. Yeah, That's how I used to grow food. You just get the seeds and grow your own capsicum. So. When you're an adult, you'll, you'll already know a lot of stuff that some adults don't already know. We can get out and do gardening and we can learn things about nature and stuff like that. That's probably, yeah, that's probably heaps. I think it's really important for children to have this experience. You know, you still meet a lot of children who don't realise that you know, potatoes come from the ground. They think everything comes wrapped in plastic. Because if they don't know about food, when they grow up, they won't, won't really know how to look after themselves and how to eat. Well, you know. And at the Sophia Mundy Steiner School in inner city Abbotsford, the kids have a very different idea of what their crop is going to do. We get to make flour and stuff um, out of the stuff that we've grown and the canteen uses some of this produce and it's all fresh without any chemicals. We measured our, the height of each of the plants six weeks ago and now we're going to go back in and measure them again. Well we're going to make bread and there's wheat, rye, barley and oats. Very soon, I think in a few months, we'll be harvesting our grains, we'll be making some bread, which will be pretty exciting. It's been pretty important to give them that real life experience and they love getting their fingers dirty, getting into the mud, digging, you know, all of that sort of thing. Every time someone discovers a worm or a bug, you know, it's a big event, everyone jumps in, you know, so it's pretty good. How much is that one? Actually, how much is that? 60 centimetres. Fantastic. The point of difference in the Bendigo Community Bank Organic School Gardens Program is that the schools don't have to go through a drawn out application process. I think it's incredible. I mean, I was, I've been looking through certain grants and some people make grants 
almost impossible for you to actually realise what you want to do. For the teachers, getting out in the garden has been a fantastic experience for them and their students. Their level of appreciation is fuelled by more than just planting seeds. My mum pays me to do this stuff. Well, I don't, know you. <laughs> don't think we'll go that far. This is one way of saying, well, we can actually make food and look after ourselves, you know, so it's really giving that sense of we can do it, you know, so that's pretty exciting. It's about building a connection with the community in the branch area and that's really strong with the Bendigo Adelaide Bank. It's one of the best programs that brings tears to my eyes regularly thinking about it, you know, and I've got young kids myself and when I think about the impact they're going to have on the world into the future, and the sort of work we're doing to uh, achieve that is just fantastic. Mm -hmm.